In suburban Perth, a talented 16-year-old is impressing the athletics world with his mastery of not just one sport, but three of them. Sasha Zoya's breaking records and he hasn't even hit his physical peak yet. As Erin Park reports, the dual Australian-French citizen has some big decisions to make. Before a competition, the only thing that's going through my head is take a step back, relax, feel your body, know exactly what I'm feeling. I've done this before, I can do it, and it's really just a mental, mental aspect more than a physical aspect when I'm out there. Sasha Zoya is only 16 years old. But he's already being hailed a once-in-a-generation athlete. I've never seen talent like this, you know, um, in you know, my lifetime as a coach. It's very rare, this kind of talent. Trying to jump higher than you ever have before on a brand new pole. At the National Athletics Championships in Sydney this year came his breakthrough moment, smashing the world record for under-18s pole vault. Oh, he's done it! He's done it! That is a world under-18 best, no under-18 athlete in the history of pole vault has jumped higher. Sasha followed it up with a blistering run that broke his age group record for hurdles. But here comes Edo Zoya, tearing away, one more flight to clear, and it's 13.07, oh. oh. a new under-18 national record. It's like a moment you got to embrace it during the time, do what you got to do, then as soon as it's done, you know, enjoy it, you know, shake people's hands, talk to people, and that's what I love to do. I like putting a show on, you know, involving the crowd into what I do. His talent was evident young. I was about 13 years of age and um, going from, you know, state competitions, getting silvers, golds, etc., going to a national stage where it was a lot more tougher competition and my results weren't at the very, very top, that motivated me to, you know, train a lot harder. So having that motivation to train a lot harder brought my whole athletics up to another level and that's when I really took it seriously. At 14, he was signed up to the WA Institute of Sport. Two years on, he's considered a triple threat, excelling at pole vault, hurdles and sprinting. You've got to finish it. Look how you're looking at your toes. You drop the head. That's because the pole was like outside. Yeah, but you got to drop. Yeah. Stop looking. Stop checking the bar. Oh, it was one of the best days. Um, first session back, um, so it was a bit of a struggle, you know, trying to cope with the run-up and everything. But, you know, that, that's, that's training and... You know, you have good days and you have bad days. Often, training sessions for different events are back to back. Feel a bit right? low at the start. Yeah, a little bit low. Just down, crouching a bit. Yeah. It's the pole vault thing again, you know, that crouching thing. Lindsay Bunn has been coaching Sasha at sprints since he was 12 years old. A lot of people say that, you know, Sasha's got, he's a brilliant talent. But, but the reality is that he's got just as much talent as quite a number of athletes. But the difference is that, that Sasha works so hard. It's a physically gruelling regime. Okay. Have a look on the back. Friday was pretty pretty sore throughout the whole body. Okay. Like pretty muscular sore, like everywhere. For me I think because I have so much adrenaline at the time, um, I don't feel feel the the pain that I'm doing. Obviously there's lots of pain, you know, pushing your body to that limit. There's there's lots of pain that goes through your body but as soon as you cross that finish line or pass that bar your body definitely feels the work that you put in. Amidst the athletics hype it's easy to forget that Sasha Zoya is still a high school student. One, two, three, four. He's part of the specialist dance program at John Curtin College of the Arts. And I feel like this program's helped me out a lot with my athletics track and field. Um, gives me such different strength and agility and it really benefits all my um, athletics. He also works three part-time jobs to help pay for his athletics. Being a teenager does lack a little bit. Um, so, you know, going out on the weekend with, with my mates and stuff, sometimes I can't go out because I've got a training session. And, you know, it's something that I've chose that I want to do, so... Oh, no, Mum wanted kebabs before. At home, he's the cheeky younger brother. Uh, we're four and a half years apart, so... You're the big sister. I'm the big sister in the house. <laughs> um, and, yeah, pretty proud of him at the moment and sort of living in his shadow now, I guess, so... Eh? <laughs> Mother Catherine Zoya says her son has always been competitive. 
he does has a bit of that darker side. He's very young, anything could happen, but he also could succeed because, yes, that bit of that darker side which Usain Bolt has and all these really big sports stars, they have it. Mum's from France. Um, she was born there, she was doing skiing over there. So that's where I take my competitive side, is from mum being a skier. Um, and then dad's from Zimbabwe and he was a musician. So that's where I get my rhythm from, I can dance. So I have those two sides of me and they're great. Sasha is a citizen of three different countries. And later this year, he'll have to decide which to represent in international competition. So, yes, we have offer from France, we have now offer from Australia, and Zimbabwe gave me a, a, a call as well. It's stressful for him, but for me as well. It's going to be a hard decision to make, so I'm going to push that decision all the way to the end of this year, um, so I can get a lot of, lot of time to think about what I, want to, what I want to go for. The perils of teenage talent are well documented. But those surrounding Sasha Zoya are confident that he has the skills and support to make good decisions both on and off the track. The sky's the limit for Sasha as long as um, he keeps his head in the game. And uh, I mean, he's certainly got all the talent that he would need to take, this, take it to wherever he wants to go. I'm really keen to see where I can go in this you know, track and field and what I can accomplish and how far I can go. And that's, that's what everyone's really chasing, how far they can go.